Hey guys, it's me Nina. I'm an urban educator, speaker, and blogger, and for today I will be reviewing the Long Chomp Pillage Neo Bag <laughs> with the crossbody strap, and hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I have owned Long Chomp bags before. I I believe just one. I'm acting as if I've owned like a million, but I've sent it for repair and it felt new, so felt like two. This is my second one in this other print. Loved my long top medium bag for many years and I currently have it somewhere I just like folded it up and now I have this Neo and I, I had it for a couple of years now and I wanted to give you a review in case you were considering buying it for yourself and if you're interested in these types of bag review videos let me know down in the comments I also have one for the Everlane tote and as always I will be super honest and tell you everything I loved and hated and whatnot so some background on how often I used it so I used this extensively on a trip to Paris I purchased this bag while in London because you can get it so much cheaper in London though I will say there currently is a, sh a sale at last call Neiman Marcus last call for a really good price I think better than what I got it abroad so I'll link that down below if you guys are interested I'm gonna be too lazy to put an affiliate link so it's purely for you and out of selfishness I'm also selling this on Poshmark so if you're interested in getting it let me know I'm planning to sell it and then buy the Ella tote from Tory Burch but we'll see if I end up selling this. I don't see many offers yet, so um, I'm st I still like this bag, so I'm fine with keeping it. Um, let's talk n more about... Mm. Okay, so yes, I use this a lot in London, not London, in Paris, and I use it every Sunday, and it can fit my Bible, like a, my big, thick study Bible, some random books, and lots of random items. And that is one big pro of it. You're able to kind of dump everything in. And right from the get-go, I liked that you have this little arm here and that you also had this cross-body strap. But there obviously is a reason why I am willing to sell it. But before we go into the cons, I wanna just talk about the pros. So first, um, if you put this on like the little crook of your arm, it's so cute. Um, when this is completely filled up, it looks beautiful. Um, but if you notice, it's kind of not filled up right now. And I'm gonna wait, save that con for later on. But what's awesome about it is you can fill it up so much. It is a beautiful silhouette and design. It is classic. The black on black, to me personally, looks so nice. And I also did wear this pretty extensively and it's still in pretty good shape right now. Obviously once a week is not crazy. Once a week for, for a few hours, not crazy, but I have had it for a few years and I think it looks like still brand new, which is pretty cool to say. And especially since I was able to take this abroad. And something really cool about Longchamp and it's still the case for this, even though you cannot fold it up completely, but it is still pretty compact. You can literally just like roll it into a ball. Um, hopefully no one who wants to buy this for me saw me mistreat this bag like that just now. But yeah, you can fold this up. So it's awesome if you wanna travel. It's awesome if you wanna go on a trip because you could literally lay it flat at the bottom of your suitcase and then you're gonna have this awesome bag that is pretty, can hold a lot in it um, really easily. So those are the pros. I think it's a decent price point too, especially if you can, it, especially if you can get it used or at a discount from some re, re, uh, some retailers. My battery's low, so I'm trying to go fast through this for you guys. Um, but yeah, awesome price point for what you're getting compared to a lot of other brands and for the quality you're getting of this nice nylon. Now the cons. When you go to the store, they have it all filled up, so you like put it on you and you're like, oh, this is cute, oh, this is nice, whatever. And then you don't anticipate that you're not gonna have this bag fully padded with, you know, like tissue paper the entire time. And if you actually wear this crossbody, it looks so weird. And I will insert some pictures of me wearing a crossbody and maybe you won't personally feel like it looks weird, but for me, I didn't like that look, and I ended up carrying it on the crook of my arm, which was okay, and I liked the look of it like that. But I didn't want it, like, I'm not a fan of like carrying a bag on the crook of my hand. It kind of reminds me of um, how people talk about the Speedy, like how Speedy 25 from Louis Vuitton, um, how annoying it is if you don't get the bandolier version with a strap of the Speedy, because you have to do that. So I just wasn't a fan of the sagging and the look of it unless I was like this, and when you do that, it just gets really tiring. And I also purposely opted for this version versus like the medium one, 
or I think this is a medium one, but like there's one larger than this that does not have the bandolier or the strap or whatever. Um, but that was the reason I wanted this bag and it didn't work. I probably would have been actually much happier if I had just gotten the bigger version with the long strap and without this crossbody strap across. Stra crossbody strap. How many times can I say cross? Okay. But yeah, those are my biggest cons for this bag, but again, I still think it is a beautiful bag. I will have inserted right now, if I haven't already, more pictures of me wearing this and loving it and enjoying it. Um, I think for me personally, I'm ready to give it a new life to someone else and try out a more traditional nylon tote for myself. So comment down below. Have you been eyeing this? Do you like it? And of course, I'm a sucker for this. When you buy from Longshop New, they give you that nice box and the bag, and it's just such a nice experience. And especially going and buying in London, I got it, I don't even know how much I ended up paying for it, but it was so much cheaper than what it, what it is in New York. Um, I'm from New York, but it was so much cheaper just because you get the taxes back. It's already cheaper, like the, the price of it already is cheaper to begin with. So. That was super awesome. But yes, it is still an awesome bag. It just depends on if you're willing to wear it like that. And I still will lovingly keep it if I'm not able to get the, the purchase price that I want for it. But it's also important to know what types of totes do you like? Um, do you go more for whatever? And you can't carry, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't recommend carrying a laptop on he, in here even though maybe perhaps you could. Um, there's just not a lot of support for here but you can pack this up a lot, which is super cool. And just to give you a better idea, this is the long jump close up, a little farther, detailing of that. And because it is black on black, it is so hard to make it look dirty and the big empty pit of the inside. <laughs> but yeah, that um, that's it. I hope you guys liked it and I got this video done before my battery died, so I feel really accomplished with myself. I'll see y'all next, not, not even next week, I'm uploading three times a week. So I'll see you a little later, you know, and comment, help boost this in the algorithm, join the family. I'm not fam, I'm, that's, that's Haley fam saying. Join, just subscribe. I mean, not even subscribe, just watch my videos, okay? I need mean, watch time, not subscribers, but okay. Um, hopefully you don't like, okay, um, bye. <laughs>